Hello guys, I'm Pickles Parker and today I will be reviewing a Funko Pop, the uh, Superman issue 1 Funko Pop from the uh, DC Superheroes line that is also a New York Comic Con exclusive. Enjoy! <laughs> Here we have um, the uh, box and it looks uh, pretty cool. Let's get into it in more detail. With the Pop Heroes logo, a DC Super Heroes logo and a 215 bar. So with the Pop Heroes logo, um, the cartoonerized uh, image of the uh, Funko Pop and Superman uh, hashtag one and a 215 bubble on this really nice comic book background which is definitely my favourite background of the Funko Pop boxes that I've got so far with the Pop Heroes logo with Superman hashtag one there with the uh, cartoonerized image of the uh, head of the pop there with another 215 bubble and obviously the window displaying the side of the Funko Pop there's the Pop Heroes logo and the Funko logo on a grey background with uh, the cartoonerized head of the Pop. And on the bottom we have a ton of company information. To the front we have the cartoonerized image of the Pop there. Um, with a Superman hashtag one and vinyl figure in various different languages. And warning chicken has it in various different languages. We then have the window displaying the Pop and a 2017 full convention exclusive sticker as this was a New York Comic Con exclusive. Back with the Pop Heroes logo, 215, bubble the DC Superheroes logo, the cartoonerized image of the Pop there, with the DC Superman and Warner Brothers logos and a Funko logo. Um, and rather than have a checklist, we have the uh, comic that uh, this design is taken from, which is the Superman issue 1. Um, which is a nice touch displayed again on that really nice blue comic background. The box, and I really like this box, this box is possibly my favourite out of the Funko Pop boxes I've got so far. The uh, Funko Pop in the uh, uh, tray there, and it looks really good, let's just get into this review. Have the uh, Pop out of its box, and it looks really good, let's just get into this review. So here we have the head, and it's really nice, crisp head sculpt. Um, I love the uh, shade that the uh, skin is, and the eyes are really nicely painted. So the eyebrows are no paint bleeds there. And I really love the hair, it's sculpted really nicely in black, with a really nice S curl. It's definitely the best hair I've got sculpted in the Funko Pop that I currently own. Just turning to the side there, again, really nice, slick, um, the uh, sculpted. There's a bit of a uh, you have a dodgy paint job there, which is a bit annoying, but it's still really nice. Then it's nice again, uh, turning to the back. And then turning uh, to the other side, and it's a nicely sculpted again. It's a bit of a, another dodgy paint job there, but overall, a really nice head sculpt. But the costume, and this is really nicely done as well. And um, obviously we have the really nice uh, classic Superman costume with the the uh, nice uh, light blue with the uh, belt, the uh, pants obviously um, on the outside and the boots, that's been really nicely uh, sculpted there. And we have the cape flowing which is really nice as well. I really like the pose this is Funko Pop is in. I think they've got the colours right and it's really, really nice. I really like the uh, S symbol that they've done because obviously this is a different S symbol to the classic Superman um, as this was his original symbol in his first um, comic before they obviously uh, changed it. But yeah, that's done really nice as well. Um, I really love this costume that they've done and the pose just turning around there. Really nicely done. And I really like the... Uh, um, position of the cape flowing, that's really nice, and then turning around there as well. Yeah, really nice.
It's going on to articulation, um, uh, the only articulation. This has really, is just, um, 360, um, head. But, uh, that's about it. Just comparing it to my other DC uh, Funko Pops, Joke from Suicide Squad and Clayface from Batman the Animated Series, I think this Superman pop fits in very well uh, with the others and will help me construct a larger DC pop universe. Overall, what do I think of this pop? I absolutely love it. The head sculpt is marvellous with the s curl really being a highlight and really nice crisp sculpting and painting. Although it's a bit messy around the ears on the actual face, it's really, really nice. And I love the costume as well. I love the colours they use, the position that Superman's in. And I really like that they've uh, obviously used the uh, classic, uh, the uh, very first S symbol. Um, this is one of my favourites that I have in my collection. I'm going to give it a thumbs up. Please like this video um, if you have enjoyed it. And if you want to see more content from my channel, then please hit subscribe. Goodbye. Hello, Garen Adam. So, Voyage of the Damned. Um, I haven't watched this one in absolutely ages, so I can't really remember much apart from it had the host of it. I had the Titanic and the Doctor in the tux. But uh, anyway, uh, this introduces the uh, new uh, Doc 2 title music that was used right up until the end of time, which is one of my favourites, I really love it. I love Tennant's costume in this one, not only does he look great in the tux, but I really like the blue suit variant that we get right at the start. This episode has a wonderful array of characters, um, it has obviously not lovely characters like Astrid, Alonzo, um, Rixton Slade, um, Boone and Morvin, Mr. Copper, um, and Banner Cafalata, um, which it reintroduces some really good characters. Um, this episode introduces the first appearance of Will, um, although it is brief. I love the host as a, um, a monster, and they are actually quite creepy. Kylie Minogue's in this episode, and she's not actually that bad, she's quite good as Astrid. That speech from Tennant is one of the best he's ever done. I really love that speech. Max Capricorn's underwhelming as the big bad though. Um, I'd rather that it was something else because he's very underwhelming um, as the control of the host. Um, Astrid's death is a bit emotional but it is a bit overplayed myself. We get hints of the time of Victorious, like when the Doctor's trying to send Astrid back, uh, get Astrid back he says I can do anything, and then when Mr. Copper uh, says that uh, it's good that you can't control uh, life or death, um, and we get the Series 4 trailer at the end, which is really good. I really love this episode as a Christmas special and an episode 8.5 out of 10. See you guys next week.